Welcome back to another Starcraft TV and I'm Scan. Today we are going to cast some these two awesome player that is gonna be Light versus Mini, Mini versus Light, and first of all spawning location in the top right, the orange Terran. This is Light. And the other side of the player, spawning location in the uh, top left. Kill Prados. This is Mini, and we already seeing something moving, uh, moving out into the uh, at the center of the map. Looks like Mini is about to go for some sort of like a proxy building. He's not making any pro production with the from the Nexus. He's already building the pylon at seven. So looks like Mini has prepared for maybe seven pylon into eight gateway. Let's see what the strategy is, and we see. Light is already putting down the depot at his natural. If you guys have seen uh, Ultima Stream TVP, a lot of uh, Terran players like to go for two depot with a single barracks wall, and that is what Light is aiming for. I have a feeling Light will be putting the barracks on the left side and the depot on the right side so he can have a uh, Zala proof. But Marine can also uh, Marine can get inside. So we see the barracks already started, the probe is already moving out, and we see uh, Mini is already sending out another uh, scouting probe. So this is going to be the double probe harassment by Mini, and Light, as soon as he sees the probe already harassing at his natural, oh, this has to be the gateway. And he, as soon as he sees this additional pylon being built at the natural, he should be 100% guaranteed that he should know this, is, this has to be some sort of like a proxy gate. There's absolutely no reason for Protoss to be so stubborn and harassing on this SCV, uh, the one that is constructing the barracks. Ooh, that SCV is getting lots of hit by the probe. Double probe micro. What a what a, a tricky micro right now Mini is doing. And thing that is a uh, unfavor for light would be SCVs won't uh, ge won't generate the HP. So that means he has to. Oh, what is that? Okay, so I thought that was a, like a double bunker, but never mind. That is gonna be a supply deep on the right side and the bunker on the top side. This first zealot will be coming in. The shield battery will be getting targeted. Marine is gonna get some hit by one uh, one zealot, killing off some uh, probes. Shield zealot is taking some hit by the SCV. Nice SCV drill, but will you be able to get inside of the bunker? That is gonna be the question. We see another shield battery being built. The Zalot is micro. Zalot micro is insane, and probe will, one of the probe will go down. But here is now the Zalot will be about to sneak in inside of the main base. But before that, the Zalot is like few hit away from getting picked up. But now the shield battery is complete. Another Zalot comes in as well. Okay, that is gonna be fantastic micro bite. Ooh, look at that bunk. The shield battery just heals one of the Zalot. Uh, remaining the Zalot here. Lots of harassment going on. We can still see Light is still ahead of with, ahead of with the worker count, but we should know Mini is mining his uh, mineral patch. But his, uh, Light's SCV, they cannot go back home yet because these non-stop Zalot aggression will just constantly consistently attacking them natural, and these Zalot will be getting inside. And now uh, Light will be pulling some rain. And how well is he going to be handling against these two Zalots? Two Zalots will be attacking. And now the Zalot will be uh, picking up one Marine. Maybe second Marine as well. And at the same time, Gas too at, at the same time as well. Light is struggling defending this Zalot. But he's somehow saving all those SCP nicely well. But the additional Marine will be coming in. And so is uh, Zalot. And now Light is losing lots of mining time. Maybe he might want to put down a commencement over here or maybe, or maybe over deep over there to stop the additional Zealot. I'm not sure why Light is keep la Light keeps letting the additional Zealot coming inside of the uh, main base. Yeah, he's building the third depot. He's building the third depot at the main base. That depot could have been at the natural so he can stop all those additional additional uh, Zealot aggression. And now the Zealot is doing some great job. Probe will go down. Uh, 20 worker versus 15, but I would say I'm not sure who's gonna be ahead in this kind of uh, situation, but If I were Terran, I am not gonna be so satisfied 
because look at this light if you look at light's point of view light doesn't know where me is located at either he's gonna be spawned at uh, five o'clock or it can be either 11 o'clock side and now the zella still have four hp these Non-stop Zella keeps coming in and Light ha does not have a complete wall yet. This harassment is just too much. Light is struggling. Oh, he just stacked all of his worker into one mineral patch. And now this is going to be a huge mining loss. Uh, lots of SCBs. Pretty much um, low HP as well. So if Mini can hit some like a lottery. Like a lottery picking up some SCB. One by one. Oh, look at that. Finally building a depot at the natural. So now he's stopping... He's stopping additional marine, uh, additional zealot. Additional marine should be staying inside of the marine, uh, bunker because they are taking so much of hit away from it. Some of the SCV will be transferred. Look, light doesn't have the gas yet. We can see Mini is about to finish a simulator, and that's the sign of putting down the seven S four. Look how behind right now light is in this kind of game. Twenty three worker versus twenty one. Twenty four versus twenty one. And now the mini is slowly catching up the worker count and lots of SCVs are on a low HP. If he hits the lottery, he's going to be taking more of a SCV. Look how Light is desperately saving all of his SCV and stacking all of his SCVs because he doesn't want any of SCV getting picked up. So yeah, that was a very fantastic micro by both players harassing, offensive, play, off playing offensively and one of the players is playing defensively here. Now finally Mini is saturating the natural as well as uh, just like how light is saturating. So I would say this is about like um like the almost the exact timing of taking the natural expansion. So I would say personally Mini is ahead in this game because look robotic facility already started and we don't see uh, light doesn't have any factory yet. Look light forgot about to put down the factory. I thought He's, he's probably thinking, yeah, I should. Uh, I probably uh, started my factory, but SCV says it didn't make. It just doesn't make. Sometimes you gotta have to double check whether the SCV is making or making the building or whatnot. And look at this. Look at that. I'm pretty sure he wanted to put down like a, yeah, the first SCV was standing over here, first factory and the second factory over here, but he realized that it didn't make. So that's why. That's why he had to look at this uh, factory factory uh, once again. Now he's also putting on the eBay because he doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know what Mini is doing. Whether he has gone for Sirabadun or Robotic Facility or it can be a gun range. But gun range can be excluded because the the map design like this on the ultimate stream where you have a natural high ground and putting down the bunker on the high ground, you cannot actually hit it with the gun range. You don't have any vision with it. So one of the possibility that he... Uh, possibility that light can exclude would be the gun range and he doesn't yeah he will be able to confirm oh yeah yeah look he's turning around his cv to confirm he can also confirm the gun range uh the gun range whether he has it or not what not a cv will be saved and look at that he's immediately going to be putting down the double missile turret at the natural because he doesn't know what's going on what mini is actually doing and look mini is playing one of the great uh one of the greediest build right now that Protoss ever can do against Protoss UP. Straight Reaver build, no observer. And look at this, Cybernetic Core. Oh, I thought that was a plus one. Never mind, that was not a plus one upgrade. But still, gun range upgrade. We see the Stargate already started by Mini. Yeah, Light doesn't have any vision. This is all Light right now has with the vision. Four factory being added. Lots of fact, uh, lots of missile turret. Look at that! One, two, three, four, five, five missile turret that light has put down. We just heard double scan, one scan at the main base, and one scan at the third expansion. Oh, hey, why do you not have your third expansion? And now light is gonna be slowly taking some gas. Yeah, that's a very, uh, that's very suspicious. You should have your third expansion, but you do not have your third expansion. If you don't have your third expansion, I am gonna be going for maybe some sort of like a timing attack, or maybe yeah, it looks yeah, it looks like Light might be thinking. Light has to guess. Light doesn't know whether he's ahead or whatnot because he did pick up uh, some probe at the natural earlier with the five six marine, but he doesn't know how much of a probe he mini right now has. And guns are hitting from the low ground. Shadow was showing some vision on the top. 
And yeah, this is going to be the timing attack by Light. Lots of tank being made. He doesn't know whether this is going to be the carry build or not. Because he's not upgrading. He's not upgrading the car, uh, car and booster. You gotta upgrade your car and booster if you wanna handle against this carrier. And now he scans it. He scans there is a carrier. Oh, I wonder what he's gonna be uh, doing from now on. Whether he's gonna be staying on this uh, speed vulture with the spider mine research and go for something sort of like a quick timing push with the with, without the Goliath. Maybe that's what he's aiming for. I wonder if this is gonna be working out so well. He's killing his own the, the supply depot because these depots are pretty much blocking the path so much. The first reaper will be standing. We hear some. Uh, we hear some uh, fuse mode. One shot on the reaper, picking off. Carriers are about to pop out, and we now don't get to see the current booster yet. But we see Light is making some Goliath as well. Finally, unseating some of the fuse things. Yeah, he will be unseating. He's about to move out. And yeah, he's bringing some spider mines to and also scouting as CB will be confirming the third expansion. We just heard another, another scan. Oh, that that must be the scan. That must be the scan over here. He did pick up the reaver. That's very nice. Whenever you pick up the reaver, that's a sign of go. And now Light is going to be taking this as an opportunity. Moving out, uh, leaving two his tank at the natural. Maybe he's about to put some spider mines to buy some time, whether... Uh, when Mini is, as Mini is ever going for a backstab or whatnot. So Vultures will be putting some spider mines. Pulling some SCB as well. Lots of Vulture, some Goliath as well. Karam Booster as well. Light is moving out with, own, uh, with this number of Assis tank. So we'll have to push the missile turret at the natural. And that is gonna be the sweet spot for light. If you start uh, having some great position over here, you will be able to uh, finish all those missile turrets and picking up picking up some interceptors whenever you need to. And we see Mini stop making the interceptors after four. And Mini is using some probe as well here. Lots of probes are getting picked up. Reaver Scarab Shot nicely picking up those vultures, clearing those up. Uh, more vultures are coming. Two C leaving two scenes tank on a high ground. Maybe uh, Light is uh, aware of uh, some sort of like a backstab, but now he's going to be sending some reinforcement with, from, with these uh, Goliath from the natural. More missile turret being built. Slowly moving forward, sieging in the front. That's a nice uh, Zala bomb on top of a sea tank. One of the uh, sea tank is dangerous to low HP. Mini will be leaving some army, about like a nine gr nine units on a high ground. But Mini is not looking at his mini map really, really well because he's busy microing his probe, saving his probe. Reaver does get picked off. More missile turret being built at the natural. The flight takes this territory where Mini needs to take his expansion. This carrier is gonna be so useless. Oh, now um, Mini totally missed all of this army where it was moving towards the, the natural. So now this natural with these number of Goliath with C tank is gonna be harder and harder, I would say. Yeah, uh, DC thing are moving out. DJing slowly. Some uh, Goliaths will get picked up as well. Yeah, interceptors are doing some job picking up some inter uh, C thing, but one one upgrade is done for light. The yeah, light uh, mini is struggling. He's struggling because his main base is about to get demolished. Hey, look at that, he 
He just got another brand new reaver, but brand new reaver will get picked up. Bro, they're all stacked, and now C Stain will be firing all those shots and picking up all those probes. And it looks like Nini does not have uh, does not have any income, but he does have a nexus and also pylon at, with the gateway wall at the bottom left corner. But I feel like ooh somehow Nini is gonna be winning this fight, but. This this battle that he just won is not a, like a complete win for him because he lost all of his probe, five probe remaining, and he has two probe at the bottom left, some probe over here at the top right, uh, top left as well, but they're pretty much useless. Two probe, three probe is not enough. Nini is trying to do some uh, last. Desperate move with this carrier, picking up some uh, Z stain one by one. But we know, look at Light. Light is still mining on this two base, two base saturation. His main base is gonna be mined that, and finally we can get to see him started mining his third expansion, fourth expansion also just started as well. Twins will be rotated to the bottom right as well, but they're not gonna be doing so much of uh, uh, damage. We see those bunker. Four marines out of the bunker will be doing some great damage. Look at that. We see some uh, marines will be picking up some, some interceptors as well. And now, looks like this is gonna be. Uh, wow, I mean, this, this six carries somehow winning some fight here. And yeah, look at how Light is uh, repairing his own bunker. He's seized tank and go Light just moving forward to the bottom left. And if Mini loses base, he's not gonna have any base to mine with. But somehow he's still winning the fight against these uh, Goliath, additional Goliath, picking up some trees tank one by one. Another one, Goliath here as well. But we see some guns will go for uh, some sort of a backstab here, maybe supporting some uh, damage, picking up some Goliath. Goliath is gonna be mined out at his main base, but the third expansion is completely saturated. And yeah, somehow he's holding up. The bunker will go down. Ooh, this is gonna be a very interesting game because Mini is somehow still winning the fight. He's winning the fight. He doesn't have any income, but he gotta be careful with his uh, carrier usage. Lots of carrier has lots of kills. Twenty kills, eighteen kills, seven kills, six kill, seven. I think that's uh, that's pretty much about it. Here's another carrier. Oh, he just pulled out a carrier over here because he doesn't have any interceptors to use with. So he's just gonna be leaving that carrier for vision. Oh, one of the carrier will go down somehow. He's still doing some job, but I feel like this is gonna be like a elimination, elimination trade over here. Oh, the armor is uh, exposed. Armory is gonna be exposed and he's gonna be picking up the armory, but I'm sure he does have another fact armory at the top side too, so uh, light is gonna be making some light still interceptors uh, four interceptors six interceptors five interceptors uh, Three interceptors. Oh, me doing so well with this carrier micro and yeah more go light is about to come out from this factory line and interceptors slowly dying one by one. These interceptors are doing so much of a, so much of a damage, really, really well. 24 kills, 12 kills, 15 kills, and eight kills over here. We see not much of an interceptor still remaining, but he's somehow still winning the fight. Look at that collide! One last collide will get picked up as well. Ooh, look at that carrier micro picking up the collide. More collide. Uh, Light does have any additional armory at the bottom right as well. That's a lot of missile turret and it looks like this is going to be the elimination battle. Somehow Mini is still doing the job. Mini is going to be tapping out. He knows he cannot keep up the game anymore because one of the care was floating at the third expansion watching. Mini uh, Light was mining the third base as well. He probably doesn't know about the fourth base but doesn't really matter because he knows this is gonna be like two base to three base of macro with this factory. And yeah, Mini taps up because he cannot keep up this game anymore. What a excellent play by Light, like how he can 
actually execute Mini. Like he executed Mini really really well with those uh, eight C's tank with Vulture, some Goliaths like follow up, with bringing some SCB and going for some sort of like a timing attack. And he executed really really well. I like this game so much because not a lot of players like to go for a timing attack because if you go for timing attack and if you screw it, then you're pretty much screwed. And you don't have any backup plan with because you're not uh, working on this uh, plus two upgrade as well. But anyways, Light has played really really well. Excellent play. Thank you for watching and if you guys enjoy watching these great games on Starcast TV, please hit the like and subscribe button. We will bring more fantastic game in the future.